Richard Martinez here, and this is how to invest for beginners. You see, I've been having a lot of clients come to me and they're like, Richard, um, I would invest, but I don't know how. It seems very intimidating, it seems very complex. And it does. When you look at the financial industry, when you look at investing, it seems very intimidating. Why? Because, I mean, this is money that you want to invest and this is money that you worked freaking hard for. You put your time and your energy, your sacrifice to make this money. So it's not so easy to just put this money into a place that you're not really you know, certain about, that you're not sure about, to kind of gamble it, to invest it, and hopefully not lose it, but to make something. So it's, it's very intimidating for people to want to invest their hard-earned money into something that they don't understand. So what I did is I broke this down into an investing plan for you, for beginners, for something that you can start to do now to create a long-term plan and long-term wealth, all right? So three things you need to do. Number one is pay yourself. Pay yourself, like take this so serious. Take it like this is a freaking bill that you have to pay. Every time you get a check-in, one of your bills that you have to pay is yourself. If you can do 5%, pay, do 5%. If you can do 10, if you can do 15, whatever you are able to do, but be consistent. Every time you get a paycheck, you pay yourself and begin to save money. With that money that you're saving, you can invest. Because I want to give you a plan right here of how you can invest by saving after only three years. Okay, this is a not like a not so risky plan for you to learn how to invest, how to build long-term wealth. If you can do $10 a day, I want to give you an example of how you can invest by saving $10 a day for three years and then using that money to invest. This is what you can do. So $10 a day. Let's do the math here together real quick. $10 a day, that would end up being what? $300 a month, right? $300 a month. So now $300 a month times 12 equals what? $3,600 a year. And if you do that for three years, now you get $10,800. That's how much you have saved now, okay? So with this three-year plan, every day you're gonna save $10, right? That's gonna end up after the three years, $10,800. So now this is where you can invest that money. So let me give you three examples of what you can do with investing that $10,800, okay? But for math sake, to make it very easy, to, to make these numbers very easy, instead of the $10,800, I'm gonna say $10,000. Let's just say $10,000 you have saved up by putting $10 a day away for three years. Now you have this chunk of money of where you now can invest. This is what you can do, okay? This is now it's the invest time, right? So with that $10,000, we can use the rule of 72. The rule of 72 says, take 72 and divide it by the interest rate of the account that you're putting your money into, and you will get the number of years that it will take to double that money. Let me say that one more time, okay? The rule of 72 says, what you do is you take 72, you divide it by the interest rate, and that will give you the number of years that it will take for you to double that money. So now let's see what you can do with that $10,000 with a different interest rate, okay? So right here we have an interest rate of 4%, 8%, and 12%. These are different accounts, different places you can put this money to begin to accumulate your wealth, okay? Three places with the same amount of money that you saved over this time. So $10,000 that you have to invest now. If you invested into a, an account that has 4%, and let me just remind you that your bank, your savings, the CDs, do not even pay 1%. They pay 0 .0, point, you know, 0.02%, 0.03%. They're not gonna give you 1%, okay? This is why you have to know how to invest. So you know how to take that money and put it into a place where your money is now going to work for you and begin to build on itself, right? So if you put it into a place that has 4%, that's not too bad, right? It's gonna be better than the bank. Let's see what the numbers are here. At 29, for if you put in $10,000 at 29, you know, at 4%, at 47 years old, it'll double because it's gonna be every 18 years, your money will double because if you get 72 and you divide it by the interest rate, which is four, you'll get 18. So that's how many years it takes to double. So 29, now 47, that's another 18 years, right? Another 18 years is 65. That's where it's gonna be at $40,000. So that $10,000 has now built itself to $40,000 in that many years. But you can build it faster by putting it in the right place when you invest. So if you put your investment now into a place with 8% interest rates, 
72 divided by 8%, now we have nine years. Every nine years, your money is doubling. So look at the numbers now, 29, it's at 10,000. 38, 20. 47 years old, 40. 56 years old, $80,000. 65 years old, $160,000. Now the compound interest is beginning to really build you wealth. This is how you start to build wealth, through investing. What if you took that same amount of money, that $10,000 that you have saved up over those three years, but now you put it into a place where you have 12% interest rates. And yes, there are places that do this. You just have to go, I can help you to do this. You can just let me know, leave a comment, and I can help you to do this. But there are places where you can put your money into a place of 12%. So now 72 divided by the 12%, now we have every six years your money is doubling. The same money, you didn't put any more work, you didn't put any more money, you just put it into another right place with the higher percentage. Now look, 29, $10,000. 35, 20, 41, 40, 47, 80, because now it's every six years, right? 53, six, $160,000 because it's doubling, right? Now we have 59, $320,000, 65 years old, $640,000. The difference between the 4% and the 12% accounts of what it built is over $600,000, the difference. That's a huge difference in just putting your money in the right place. So this is a way to make your investing very simple and doable. Number one, pay yourself. Begin to accumulate some savings so that you can invest, right? If you can't do that much, do $10 a day. You can see what you can do. Just what, $300 a month for three years, you can save yourself a good chunk of money, $10,000. You can put it into an account that gives you an interest rate and now you're building wealth over time. This is a good and safe way to invest, especially for beginners.